Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas. For our next destination, we're heading outside of San Antonio where the hill country begins, a place called Holotus. Now back in the day, local settlers would come down to plant corn in the area because Holotus had rich, fertile valleys. Well today and every year, they honor the harvest that put them on the map with the festival and a rodeo. So come with us as we check out the 54th annual Holotus Cornival. Located outside of San Antonio, Cornival is a play on words stemming from the Spanish term elote, which means corn. So the Holotus Cornival is the town's biggest celebration of the year. It is four days of food, fun, games, entertainment, live music, a rodeo, and it all pays tribute to the crop that started it off. And before we hit the ground running, we met with festival director David to give us insight into the event. Uh, carnival is a great event, family oriented, lots of things to do. We've got carnival rides, we've got the Midway, we've got the H-E-B Kids Zone, then we got great entertainment every day. Uh, we have a rodeo in the evening. Our rodeo is an award-winning rodeo. It's one of the fastest growing of its size in the nation. And we have the greatest hospitality. Yeah. And there's lots to eat. Corny ball. Corn is definitely the center of the attention here. So what different concoctions do y'all have? We have that? almost every kind of corn you can think of. <laughs> we got corn on the cob, baked corn, corn in the cup, uh, cream corn every kind of corn you can make. Awesome. If you like corn, this is a place to come. I and if you like to have fun, this is a very good place to come. I like it, I like it. And when it's all said and done, all the money that's raised from this event goes somewhere. So where does it go to? We raise money for local nonprofits. Most of the booths in the front up here are from the nonprofits. Wow, yeah. So we give them a chance to make money, plus we give them a per percentage of what we make. And we also give scholarships. We give quite a few scholarships. Oh man, that's great. That's great to hear. So all the all the corn and the beer that we're drinking is going to a good cause. It all goes to a good cause. <laughs> For those looking for something off the beaten path, ever heard of chicken bingo? All right, so this is how it all goes down. There's one chicken, one board, and one lucky number where the chicken relieves himself. It's called chicken bingo. We've got the lucky numbers right here, 99 and 30. Good luck, everyone. All right, the winner will get $50 and the rest goes donation to the festival association here. Now, we have snack and dinner is coming out. This chicken has been bred just for this purpose. Is snack and dinner ready? Snack and dinner works best with encouragement and applause. Are y'all ready? Yeah. All right, let's do this. All righty. You know, snack, we might have to get your brother Chick-fil-A out here. We're gonna go ahead and pull out the other chicken real quick. All right, number 99, YOLO, Texas. And we were only getting started because at Corny Ball, there's a little something for everyone. This festival is just a fun time for everybody to get together. And there's obviously some rides and some concert music. It's great here. Stay right there, more from the Holotus Cornival coming up on Yellow Texas. Hey y'all, welcome back where we are in Holotus enjoying their annual event, the Holotus Cornival, a festival that's more than just fun and games, it's a cornucopia of sticky and savory carnival foods. All right, so Mr. David said that there's so many different concoctions involving corn, and it is our mission to get our hands on every single one of them, starting with roasted corn. Well, I'm going to take it in all its glory. Enjoy. All right. Got to give it a whirl. My mom's going to be mad, but I'm going to do it anyways. Holy smoke. Does anyone have any floss? In South Texas, corn in a cup is a fan favorite. It's an odd concoction with crema, queso, mayonnaise, and spices, but it's tasty, sweet, and fiery. Boom, not good. And since we're trying all different kinds of corn foods, a corn dog counts as part of corn. Let's try. 
And my bucket does. Carnival is more than rides and food. All monies raised at the event supports a number of local nonprofits, and this group helped us check off another corn item off the list. We are the Association of Great Forest Area Firefighters. We earn money for scholarships for our first responders to further their career in emergency services. Here to the firefighters, okay. thank you thank so you. much. Thank yes, you. yes. All right, and last but not least, we had to get petal corn. And we got it from our friends, South Texas Maze. Make sure you see them in the fall and eat their popcorn, petal corn, right now. From the rides to live entertainment, including a magic show, there's something for everyone at Cornival. Everybody, welcome Aaron to the show. Aaron, I'm going to get you to stand right there. I'm going to park you there. Right around this way, Aaron. This is my grandma's table. Let me get you to go that way. Hang on right there. Okay. okay. Now concentrate on the table. Everybody concentrate on the table. <laughs> Lift up, Aaron. Look underneath. <laughs> Bring it up. You can let go. What? Lovely, Aaron, ladies and gentlemen. You. <laughs> Thank you very much. Time. And a true Texas event wouldn't be complete <laughs> without a nationally ranked rodeo. And Entertaining live music. You know what I love about Helotus Cornival is that it's a sweet twist to carnivals and rodeos, but still stays true to its roots. Make sure to put on your calendar the very first weekend of May every year right here in Holotus, Texas. For more information on next year's annual event, visit Cornival.org.